Have you ever wondered why you make the decisions you do? What's the science behind it? Well, let's dive right in. Decision-making, it's a complex yet integral part of our everyday lives. From deciding what to wear, what to eat, to more crucial decisions like career choices, every single choice we make shapes our lives in ways we sometimes can't even comprehend. This might sound overwhelming, but it's actually an amazing testament to the power of the human brain. Our minds are constantly processing information from our environment, weighing pros and cons, and leading us towards what it perceives as the best choice. And all of this happens in mere seconds. It's like having a supercomputer in our heads, working tirelessly to guide us through life's labyrinth. So decision-making, it's not just about picking an option. It's a testament to our brain's incredible capabilities. In this video, we delve into the fascinating world of neuroscience to understand how our brain makes decisions. Our brain, a small organ weighing just about three pounds, holds the power to make complex decisions every day. Now, you may wonder how such a small organ manages this colossal task. The answer lies in the intricate structure of the brain. It's divided into several distinct parts, each with its own unique role in decision-making. Let's start with the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain located right behind your forehead. This area is often referred to as the CEO of the brain because it's in charge of high-level thinking, planning, and you guessed it, decision-making. The prefrontal cortex is the rational part of our brain. It weighs the pros and cons, evaluates the consequences of our actions, and helps us make logical decisions. Think of it as the sensible friend who always gives you practical advice. But what about those impulse buys or those decisions you make when you're overwhelmed with emotions? That's where the limbic system comes into play. Nestled deep within the brain, the limbic system is our emotional control center. It's responsible for our feelings, memories, and yes, even our impulsive decisions. When you feel a sudden urge to eat a slice of chocolate cake, even when you're on a diet, that's the limbic system at work. It's like that fun friend who encourages you to live a little. However, decision-making isn't a one-man show. It's a complex interplay of multiple areas of the brain. The prefrontal cortex and the limbic system often work together, balancing the rationale with the emotional. This partnership allows us to make decisions that are not just practical, but also emotionally satisfying. So it's not just one part of the brain that's responsible for decision-making, but a complex interplay of multiple areas. Have you ever made a decision based on a gut feeling? That's your brain at work, too. As it turns out, our emotions play a significant role in our decision-making process. It's not just all logic and reason, as you might think. Emotions often serve as a sort of compass, guiding us towards decisions that feel right, even if they may not always be the most rational ones. Let's consider the brain's emotional command center, the amygdala. This almond-shaped structure is responsible for the emotional responses we experience. It's like a little alarm system that goes off when it senses danger or excitement, influencing our decisions based on these emotional responses. Now, imagine you're walking down a dark alley late at night. Your amygdala starts firing off signals of fear and caution, urging you to get out of there fast. Even if logically you know the alley is a shortcut home and you're probably safe, the emotional response from your amygdala can override that rational thinking. That's not to say emotions always lead us astray. In many cases, our emotions can guide us to make decisions that are beneficial for us. Feeling joy when we're around certain people, for instance, can lead us to spend more time with them, fostering positive relationships. However, there's a catch. While emotions can be helpful, they can also sometimes mislead us. We've all made decisions in the heat of the moment that we later regret, right? That's your amygdala overriding your rational thinking. It's why we might impulsively buy something we don't need just because it's on sale or say something hurtful in an argument without thinking it through. So what's the takeaway here? Emotions are a critical part of our decision-making process, yes? But it's important to recognize when our emotions might be leading us down the wrong path. Being aware of this can help us pause, take a step back, and reconsider our decisions from a more rational standpoint. Emotions, therefore, can sometimes lead us to make decisions that may not be in our best interest. Now that we understand the science behind decision-making, how can we use this knowledge to make better decisions? Let's dive right in, shall we? Firstly, always allow yourself time to think. In this fast-paced world, we often rush through decisions, not giving them the due thought they deserve. 
But remember your brain is a powerhouse that needs time to process information and generate the best possible outcome. So, slow down, breathe, and take the time you need. Secondly, consider both emotional and rational aspects of the decision. The interplay of emotions and rationality is what makes us human. As we discussed in the previous scene, our emotions play a significant role in our decision-making process. It's crucial to acknowledge these emotions, understand their origin, and then balance them with rational thought. Now let's talk about the past. Yes, that's right, your past decisions, they hold valuable lessons. Reflect on them, learn from your successes and failures. Did a certain choice lead to an unexpected outcome? Analyze it, understand why it happened, and use this knowledge to make better decisions in the future. Next, let's focus on mental health and self-care. Remember, your brain is the central hub for all decision-making. It's important to keep it healthy. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, adequate sleep, and stress management techniques like meditation can help maintain an optimal mental state. This, in turn, can enhance your decision-making skills. Lastly, don't shy away from seeking help. Whether it's a friend, a family member, or a professional counselor, getting a second opinion can provide a fresh perspective and help you make a more informed decision. In conclusion, improving decision-making skills is not a one-time task. It's a continuous process that requires practice, patience, and persistence. And remember, it's not about making perfect decisions, but rather making decisions that are best for you at that moment. Remember, every decision you make shapes your future, so make each one count. As we move forward, let's focus on how to apply these decision-making skills practically. Because understanding the theory is one thing, but the real magic happens when we put this knowledge into action. Let's start with a simple exercise. Next time you're faced with a decision, take a step back and think. Evaluate your options, consider the emotional and rational aspects, and reflect on past experiences. Then, make your decision and observe the outcome. This will not only help you improve your decision-making skills, but also increase your confidence in your ability to make decisions. It's all about practice and application. The more you practice, the better you get. Moreover, don't hesitate to share your decision-making process with others. Discussing your thought process can provide valuable insights and different perspectives that you may not have considered. Plus, it helps to validate your decisions and boosts your confidence. Another practical tip is to keep a decision journal. Write down your decisions, the thought process behind them, and the outcomes. Over time, you'll start to see patterns and understand your strengths and weaknesses. This can be a powerful tool for self-improvement and growth, and remember it's okay to make mistakes. Each mistake is a learning opportunity. It's not about being perfect, but about growing and evolving. After all, we're all works in progress, so keep learning, keep growing, and keep making decisions. Because every decision is a step forward, a step towards your future. So make each decision count. Now before we wrap up, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment your thoughts below. We'd love to hear about your decision-making journey. Until next time, keep learning.